Does your website show you at your best for who you are today? Because often our websites lag behind our own growth. We're going to take a look at how you can fix it. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Shaw, business coach for self-employed, author of the books Lingo and the Self-Employed Life and host of the Self-Employed Life podcast. You know, so often as a, as a progressive entrepreneur, you move ahead, but our websites lag behind. And that's a big problem for you getting the business that you want. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at a before and after example of how you can take your website and make it current so that you stay relevant. Okay, so the website we're going to look at is so the coaching client of mine. Her name is Linda. Linda is a speaking coach. Now, Linda has a book coming out. She has made a lot of growth in her business. We're going to take a look at her previous website, and you'll see the previous version of her website does not come close to showing who Linda is today. So the first thing we notice on her website is that you know, she's talking about being anxious and speaking in public and, you know, that's, that's all well and good, but honestly, I don't think it's terribly unique. I mean, fear of public speaking is, is common and it doesn't really stand out. It also starts off right away with a video, which isn't necessarily a great idea because a loading video could, could drag down the load time of the website and we immediately feel like we're being sold to. And as we progress to the website, you know, the previous version, it has, you know, some information about her and a really brief bio, some testimonials, and then some social proof. So now let's take a look at the version that Linda and I created together. Uh, we worked on her brand messaging and what I call the emotional journey of a website so that we could take visitors to her website on a complete emotional journey so they felt hooked and wanted to work with Linda and the version of Linda that is the most current and exciting. So let's take a look at our new website. Now, Linda's new website, now again, I mentioned Linda's coming out with a book called Delight in the Limelight, and we immediately changed what I refer to as the standout statement. That's the H1 header. That's the big headline that you see when you land on the website. So yes, it still speaks to the anxiety, but the big change is it, it helps identify the visitor. Her ideal client is someone who feels like they have someone to say. They're a speaker, they're an entrepreneur, they're somebody that, that speaks on stages or does Zoom meetings or what have you, and, and they have something to say. They have a message to get out of the world. So she's tapping into their overwhelming feeling that they have something to say, but they, they're anxious and they wanna get that anxiety out of the way. And of course, because she has a book coming out, we're featuring the book right, right up front. You can see it's a bold and courageous photograph of Linda. Then we get on to asking some what I call self-identifying questions so that the visitor to the website can identify for themselves that this is how they feel and who they are. And this would be the person that has a solution to their problem. Do you get nervous when you turn the camera on? Does your heart start to race when it's your turn to speak in a meeting? No matter how far the audience is from the stage, are you afraid everyone will hear your heart pounding? real emotional, compelling things, right? Then, of course, the promise is imagine showing up to all your presentations, feeling confident, calm, and comfortable when you speak, okay? And this is Linda's process. By updating her website, we now can show her contextual model, this model of the inner freedom fr framework that she's created so that we're putting out her most current information and how she helps solve the problem of anxiety with her speaking clients. Of course, again, some testimonials. Now, her bio is much more thorough now. By updating her bio, we're able to tap into the fact that she has 40 years in performing music and dance. She has a BS in psychology. She has a master's degree in uh, movement studies. She has 25 years of uh, designing transformational experiences for people. She has training and gateless writing. None of this was in the previous iteration of her website. So you can imagine how much credibility was lost by not creating an updated website. 
And then, of course, we conclude with an updated contact form so people know right away how to get in touch with her. I think you can tell in these before and after examples how important it is to make sure your website represents the best of who you are today, not yesterday, not last year, but our websites constantly had to evolve as we evolve. If you want me to take a look at your website, your brand message to make sure it's showing the best of who you are, just go to brandmessagereview.com. You'll fill out a really brief questionnaire. I'll take a look at your website and I'll email you some tips on how you can bring your website more up to date and do a better job at attracting your ideal clients. Again, brandmessagereview.com. But most importantly, make sure your website is telling the world the best of who you are.